Today we're taking a look at something truly unique, something I've never before seen in the hobby. These are fabric keycap stickers that were sent to me by the folks over at Easy Fabrics. We'll be exploring the materials, feel, price, application, durability, and hopefully answering the question that you probably have in your head right now, which is why. Okay, so this whole situation is pretty messed up. The product I'm about to show you was sent to me by Easy Fabrics, a company that apparently no longer exists. On the 2nd of February in 2022, I went to the Easy Fabrics website to get a screenshot for this video and was met with this. I quickly emailed my contact and I have not heard back. My contact first reached out to me in late October of 2021. They shipped the product out the following month and I received it in early December. This was the last time I heard anything from them. I took a holiday break, I got COVID, I prioritized the GG86 video, and now we're here. Things could still change and if they do, I'll put an update in the description and in a pinned comment. But as of right now, it seems like Easy Fabrics is gone. When I sent that email to check up on them on the 2nd of February, this video was already all planned out. The script was final and I had already shot everything I needed. It was just a matter of editing it all together. And so I made the decision to just go ahead with it and to just include this disclaimer in the beginning. This means that for the rest of this video, I'm going to be talking about this product as if it's something that you can buy from a company that exists even though that's not the case. Cool? Cool. Before we begin, let me tell you about this video's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop destination for PCB-related services, including advanced types like flexible PCBs. With their high heat resistance, flexible PCBs may be the option you're looking for in high temperature settings, as well as for applications where space is a concern. Head on over to PCBWay.com and check out their specific manufacturing capabilities when it comes to this type of advanced PCB. When you're ready to get started, get an instant quote from a PCBWay sales representative and be on your way to turning your dream project into reality. Big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Easy Fabrics is a new business based out of Australia making fabric stickers for keycaps. As of this writing, they have two designs for sale pastel mosaic, and neon. Each set can be purchased in two different materials, velvet and lycra. On their website, they detail the other materials they have planned for future products, including cotton, leather, and scroll paper. They have more designs in the works and are also planning on collaborating with designers to produce original fabric keycap set designs. I usually talk about price and value for money toward the end of these videos, but for this product we need to address this early because these fabric keycap stickers cost an eye-popping 180 US dollars. Even the most expensive GMK base kit won't cost above 150 dollars, and there are some that go for as low as 110. So this is a lot of money. And that's without considering the cost of the keycaps that you will need to purchase separately to stick these onto. Right off the bat, I must say that I cannot recommend this product based purely on that pricing. No other factors involved. That cost is just way too high. I did express this concern to the Easy Fabrics folks and here's what they said. The price is 180 US dollars because fabric shrinks unevenly when printed on which means it takes us around two hours to produce each unit, and we view this product category as niche. If you've got the kind of money where you don't bat an eye at a $120 GMK set, then maybe this is for you. Otherwise, it's hard to justify. The set I was sent is called Pastel Mosaic in the Velvet Material. This is a set of 144 fabric stickers. It's a pretty comprehensive kit covering most layouts, including numpad keys and multiple spacebars. My only problem is that you only get one set of navigation keys like delete, home, page up, page down, etc. So if you're using a sculpted profile and they do recommend Cherry or OEM, then you'll have to make a conscious choice about what profile to put these navigation keys on. You could go standard, but that would mean your navigation column on a 65 or 75 percent would have the wrong profile. They do provide three blank stickers but there are four row heights on Cherry and OEM so you'd be one short. Once they're all stuck on and mounted the look is very unique and overall I do like it but there are things I would change if it were me designing these. First I would do away with some of the darker shades. They don't contrast well with the black legends and they don't look that good overall in my opinion. I'd replace them with some more warm colors. Yellows, oranges, and reds. There seem 
to be too many cool shades here. There are some big blocks of green and blue. And second, I would change the typeface for the legends. For this pastel mosaic colorway, a soft, cute, rounded typeface would probably look quite good. Something like the one used by Mintlodica sets like Magic Girl, although that may not go well with their other colorway, Neon. That could do with its own font too. I went looking for the typeface they're currently using, and I'm pretty sure it's Ubuntu, which is available on Google Fonts. It's not a bad looking typeface, I just think it looks really generic and boring. I picked these $24 blank cherry profile PBT keycaps from KBD fans mainly for the low cost and thickness of the material since that's what contributes to good sound. You should take note though that this set does not cover the numpad. The application process is fairly straightforward as described in the guide provided by Easy Fabrics. I skipped the step involving the hairdryer because I live near the equator and temperatures here don't really go below the minimum for the adhesive to work properly. If you are paying $180 for these, you should probably not skip that step to be safe. I only really had trouble with the space bar. The advice here is to lay the sticker on a surface with the sticky side up and then roll the space bar on top to apply it. However, it was hard to judge the straightness of the sticker so it ended up pretty crooked for me. I had to remove the sticker and reapply it in the same way as the other stickers. It was a hassle but it seems to have adhered fine. The other stickers were much easier to apply. It's a pretty forgiving process. Even if you don't align the stickers 100%, it still ends up looking fine. I've been using these as daily drivers for more than a month now and they've held up pretty well. No big damage or dirt or anything like that. If you rub these the wrong way, you can mess up the legend, but you just have to rub again in the opposite direction and they go back to good as new. Some of the legends do look a bit smudged and skewed from use. I'm not sure why. I did some stress testing on a couple of individual keys. On one, I used my fingers, some sharp tweezers, and a craft knife to just go to town. I scratched and peeled and scraped. If you really set out to damage one of these, it's pretty easy even with just your hands. On the other sacrifice key, I rubbed some cheese dust from some chips and some chocolate. I then cleaned it along with all of the other keys in the way recommended by Easy Fabrics. Warm water, hand soap, dab with a towel to dry, and it worked pretty well. All of that chocolate and cheese came right off. Bottom line, these are pretty resilient. With normal use, you really don't have anything to worry about as far as damage is concerned. And if they do get dirty, cleaning them isn't that difficult. The feeling of this velvet material on the fingers is pretty strange. It's soft, which of course you don't expect from keycaps. It's not a bad feeling, but it's not exactly good either. I'm not really one to care about the feeling of keycap surfaces though. Smooth, rough, soft, hard, it doesn't really make a difference to me. These did make me realize though that my fingernails hit the keycaps sometimes when I type and it does feel strange on this soft fabric. Something else to note is that the sticker covers up the homing bars on the F and J keys, which which I do use. Perhaps scooped homing keys would have been better. In terms of sound, I'm pretty sure these stickers don't have an effect. I didn't even think to record a sound test with the blanks before I put the stickers on them. I probably should have though, just to be sure, but I didn't. So we'll have to settle for these comparisons with some row 1 and row 4 blanks that I didn't put stickers on. What do you think? They sound the same to me. At the start of this video, we asked the question, why? Why would you want something like this? Well, these fabric stickers provide something completely new in terms of feel and aesthetic. It seems like so much of the keyboard hobby is just kind of samey. The same linear switches, the same legending on keycaps, the same gasket mount aluminum 65%. If you've got $180 to burn, well, Here's something totally new. I do actually really like them just for the aesthetic. I love having them in my collection, but I would not spend $180 on them. And that concludes Milo at Easy Fabrics Pastel Mosaic Velvet Keycap Stickers. What did you think of them? Would you spend $180 on these? Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let us know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, entertaining, informative, or any other positive adjective, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching.